of Extreme Robots here in Maidstone, where everything happens backstage, all the metal, all the blood, all the sweat and tears happens back here with all the robots. Now, compared to other venues, Maidstone is very tight for us, and as you can see uh, further ahead, it's going to be quite a squeeze for me and James, our cameraman, to get through here, but we're going to give it a go on this pit walk. Uh, let's have a let's have a quick word with uh, Magnetar. Now I know you're incredibly busy. I'm in, I'm in full style at the moment. Uh, you are. You, you look great. Uh, how are you feeling? Because you you've had a few shows yeah, yesterday. You've uh, you've been very very busy. I believe you're even camping outside the arena. Am I right? We are. We do these events in a motorhome. So everyone else is uh, we've all been losers in hotels. We we arrive in style in a nice motorhome, and uh, it's not like that. Um, yeah. So we um, we've got Sandstorm here uh, rather than Magnetar this time as uh, fresh of breath there. A fresh of breath there. Yeah. And then Neon in the featherweights um, so that's tearing it up um, had a little electrical issue on this guy first time in a while just fatigue old age 35 years uh, 35 fights old not years old wow um, and uh, on this guy I'm repairing the gearbox and a few other bits and pieces um, we should be good to go in about now okay fantastic and, and of course you know you were you had quite a success in a uh, Colchester from what I can remember yeah Colchester was great so Colchester we had Magatar and Neon and both um, kind of just tore it up in, in both glasses so um, Toyed with bringing Magnetar again, but I figured it's kind of we've seen what that can do, um, and I wanted to see what Sandstorm can do this time instead. Uh, and of course, with your work in robots, you, you do other shows as well with with the motorhome. Do you think you spend more time in a motorhome than you do in a normal house? Once upon a time, unfortunately, now I spend more time in an office than I'd like to uh, instead of building robots and fighting robots. But yeah, no, it's still nice to uh, to you know do it as a, we do it like a family activity in motorhome and uh, travel around the country or potentially the world and, uh, and fight robots. It's pretty good. Uh, fantastic. Uh, keep up with the good work, and we'll leave you to it. Uh, Oh, actually, we've got Donald Fump right here, and then it's a bit weird without you in a suit. It's not Donald Fump today, it's Theresa Mayhem, I'm afraid. Donald oh. Fump's um, melted himself out, so we're, oh dear. we're back to gas pressure oh. and flippers and uh, Theresa Mayhem's third fight, so it's probably still going to be rubbish. Can you do a Theresa May impression? No, I spoke to her so from the Donald Fump. <laughs> uh, and none of the jokes work anymore. But oh, because she's gone. Because she's gone and Brexit's completely different. So <laughs> all the completely crafted jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Brexit means Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than what I yeah. would do anyway. Yeah. She sounded more like, um, what was her name? The one from the 80s. What was, it? What was her name again? I'm Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could do a Thatcher part. A little, little, little bit <laughs> behind on that one. I <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it because yeah, you look like you're you very busy. But um, it's weird not seeing you in a suit. Uh, it's, it's, we got a Thunder Child here as well. Uh, we got four, one of our, uh, one of our veterans. Of course, very busy here. Hopefully, we don't try and get too much in the way. But oh, yeah, sorry, no, no, you, no, you worry. Uh, of course, a lot going on here. Thunder Child and Forza mentioned. We actually have Monsoon over there. Let's try and let's try and get a word with Tom if we can. We can try and squeeze by. James is doing very well trying to keep his camera work together. Monsoon, Tom, Hi. how are you? Uh, well, you had quite a day yesterday, didn't you? That after the first two shows, how do you feel? Pretty good, I think. Yeah, it was a good first first go with the robot. Um, I think we're all pretty happy with that performance. Um, I mean, normally we'd run it twice as fast as this for, for TV, but here, at half speed, it's still pretty scary, so that's, mm. that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, have you ever had any accidents with it when you've been fixing it up? Because, you know, you could easily leave, I'm not saying you would, but you could easily <laughs> leave the spinner go, and it's like, ah, I'm at, there goes my finger. Um, I, I mean, more than a finger. I think you lose more than a finger, yeah. I mean, I just stay outside, but normally, you have a locking button with it at all times. Oh, right, yeah, Sharp yeah. edge protection on all the points, so it can't move, it can't do anything. The wheels are off the ground as well on the trolley. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty safe in this form. I mean, the batteries aren't even on Good. We only ever put the batteries in just before the fight anyway. Mm. Yeah. Pretty safe. And this robot has been on a battle bots as well, from what I believe. So, you mm. know, it's, it's, it's gone up against big audiences as well. Yeah, it has. I mean, we fought some of the nastiest spins in the world as well. And, and here, there are some equally pretty nasty ones. I mean, Aftershock is right there. That's a terrifying robot. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like we never went to win. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Would you say after is your main ride? Uh, probably yes, yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, uh, Tom, thank you very much for your time, and we look forward to more of Monsoon. <laughs> Go on, say it. Monsoon! Green Tim does it. Oh, Tim. Oh, Tim. I do apologize. Sorry, Again, Tim. I'm not. <laughs> we'll get Tim. We'll get Tim to do it in a minute. It's got to. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. And here is Aftershock, as we mentioned, the rival uh, of Monsoon. Uh, normally, Will is the pilot fixing it, but it looks like it's in. It's in good nick. Actually, here he is now. Go on. Let's hear that Monsoon. <laughs> it's a bit early. <laughs> I don't think I'd make many friends if I did that. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, well, you're giving it a good go. Later. Do it later. Do it later. Live you're not going to miss it, are you? So. I, d- I miss it already. Oh. No, I mean, he's in miss hearing it. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bad ed- is, it, is it a bad ed this morning? Not too bad. That's all right. Me and Rory had a few gins, but nothing too crazy. Ooh, that's very extreme. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'll leave you. Ch- pints, br- pints more <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, as mentioned, this is after shock, so Will. Well, as I mentioned, he's not here, so he, look, he looks he as though it's all ready to go. Of course, there's Manta um, as well, the uh, other robot, the sister for uh, Aftershock as well. Manta actually flipping out Tango in one of the shows this weekend, which they were teammates. And poor Eruption, uh, well, no, not poor Eruption. Eruption was able to go just one-on-one against Manta and win the battle. So uh, not a good time for Tango or Manta there. And uh, we'll uh, keep going through. James, is, as I mentioned before, is doing very well trying to get through all these robots. He's got more equipment. All I've got is a mic. Hello there, sir. How are you doing? Um, we're better now. We've got the remote control sorted out. We've increased the speed on it. Unfortunately, we're going to be running with just one eye today. <laughs> you know what's really funny? When I was doing the VIP during the shows, one of the kids came up to me. He's like, can I keep that eye? I'm like, I don't think you can. It's actually part of the robot. Yeah. We were actually looking for it, but it just miraculously turned up. So <laughs> thank you very much. But yeah, um, we're fully repaired now. Did some welding last night, so every sort of reinforcement we've done on here is because of aftershock, basically. So yeah, all the dents and bumps, everything else, we're okay. But aftershock, we seem to come up worse with. Mm. Yeah, we're doing well though. We, so we should be hopefully in for a good, good day today, thanks. Yeah. And of course, the, the, the spinners at the moment are proving to be the uh, probably the most vital in, in the teams at Extreme Robots. Do you think? Do you think there's more people that want spinning robots these days than flippers? I would say um, with the spinners, you, it's the sparks and it's the noise and the crashing and the banging. You know, so yeah, for, from what I've spoken with people so far, you know, they all love the spinners. But obviously, you know, if you get the, the, the flippers mixed in as well, like Team Eruption, yeah. you know, that gives it another another edge to it as well. But yeah, they seem to be going well. But they seem to be getting a lot more spinners, I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. I, well, all I'd say is, is that I think your robot needs to go to spec savers. <laughs> yeah, bless it. It's just to keep an eye on Montaigne, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that might come about. Not a bad joke. Thank you for your time. And, uh, and now we have a backflip, which... Uh, I, sorry, How are you doing? Yes, good, thank you. I, now, I've noticed um, it's not on it at the moment, but you're going for a more Star Wars theme oh, at the moment because you've got a bit of... Your entrance <laughs> is a theme song. Here it is. Uh, of course, known on one of the uh, spaceships on a... On a which, what's it's it a called again? Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer, that's it. So yeah, it, it happens to be the sort of the right shape. So we've done it, and I've even done a bit, bit of a better paint job. Ah. Oh no! Oh no! Which is, of course, <laughs> the back of it's not there. But there it is. <laughs> it would be better, but yeah, it's, as you see, it took a bit of damage yesterday, so it needs a bit of sort of straightening out. Mm. Um, but but I, I mean, how how do you think it's been so far for you in okay. Maidstone? Uh, first fight I did okay until uh, battery link fell out and that me stopped which is a fort- unfortunate but actually the second fight I won because uh, I fought four bots so that's not yeah. bad I'll take four bot flipping that'll do <laughs> but as you see my other bot took a little bit of damage yes. uh, this, uh, yesterday which is it's a bit of a fun bot that bike mare uh, it's, a, it's all a bit knackered but I've just been on a well-known auction site and bought myself a bike for 20 quid. Oh, nice one. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have a whole bike <laughs> to replace it with, but never mind. So, uh, you do know they're supposed to be for bikes. Yeah, but uh, what the hell? It's a bit yeah, of a laugh, yeah, why really. Not? Yeah. Why not? I guess that's the uh, the fun thing of engineering. You can yeah. use anything. You can. You can You can reuse things. Basically, the bike would, was a pretty junk old bike, and what else would they use it for? Nothing. So I might as well destroy it in an arena. It'll, <laughs> it'll, just, it'll get destroyed again later. <laughs> I, I must admit, I, I want... Because obviously they're, they're making Star Wars films again. Yes. I want to see these backflips on Star Wars and actually flipping the uh, Jedis back uh, to where they belong. That would be quite funny, actually. I, have to, I do agree with you. Um, <laughs> I think I think I do need to perhaps fit some more weaponry on it, perhaps more like a proper Star Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's looking it's looking good, Nick. It's probably one of my favourites, so I, I I do enjoy watching backflips. So uh, thank you very much for your time. No problem. And uh, so yeah, a great different robot. We haven't really seen a robot that does backflipping before, so uh, no, it's fantastic to see. So anyway, as you can see, very busy here. We better leave them to it as we get ready for our next show at Extreme Robots.
eruption. Thank <laughs> you. 
Galactus Sandstorm
You know when you get that little bit of acid reflux when you feel uncomfortable because you can see a robot's been smashed through glittering. That, that's uh, that's in a mess. Oh, that poor worm girl right in front of us there. Yeah, yeah. She's got so many big hits. And then poor Deadlock. So this is the final fight of the day. Are you ready, everybody? Yeah. Good to see you. Right here. Robot captains, Jono and Michael. Are you ready? They're ready. Robot fans, are you ready? So welcome back to the pits backstage, of course, where it all happens, all the robots being built and ready for our battles here in Maidstone. We're with Mike, of course, the pilot of Eruption and the captain of Team Eruption. Mike, congratulations. Two wins out of two so far. How do yeah. you feel? 
Good. Uh, it's not been the easiest road. It's been a bit of a pain. Um, but eruptions work really well, and we've just about got the wins through. It's been a bit tougher than it was at the start of the year. Everyone's up in the game a bit, but we're still up there at the top, which is nice. And it's a fantastic response so far, because, of course, in Colchester, Team Shock won, won the overall competition. Yeah. And with yourself winning two out of four so far, it's, it's looking like it's coming your way. Yeah, it's a really good start. Um, team Gabriel's looking really strong, so it's... Uh, it's some of the fights that they're having uh, in like the in between fights where they get the points, so uh, they're it's going their way. I don't know how the points will tally up at the end, and it's just no more point total, but uh, yeah. We're winning the show, so that's amazing. <laughs> exactly on top, you can't you can't ask for more. We're, we're with Mike's dad as well, Adrian. Adrian, I know you're a bit busy fixing, but how's the robot ahead of show three? It's looking all right now. It's been a bit of a struggle finding finding parts of people and <laughs> <laughs> bodging it back together. But we've got there. It might even be better than before. So, so how does it work when you? Is, is it just friends helping out, or is there little uh, negotiations of I need your part, but you need my part? Well, we help each other. Yeah, I mean, we've been scrounging parts today. All the times people will be scrounging parts of us. So. <laughs> You can't bring everything with you, can you? No, no, no. That, that'll take forever to pack. That's for sure. Uh, Mike, overall, though, you know, you, 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 you know, you've got two robots that have been on top notch, but Ignition's had a very tough weekend. Yeah, exactly. And on that last note, um, Jason smashed this fitting down here with Thor earlier. So we've um, got Jason's big box of spare stuff over there, and oh. we've been scrounging through that, stealing all his parts to fix it. So. Um, yeah, we help each other out. Ignition, it's still new. It's, it looks better, but compared to Eruption, it's a very new robot. Um, we're still going through teething problems with it. Finding the weak points. And every time something breaks, you fix it and make it a little bit stronger. So we're just going through that process. Stuff is going to break. That always happens. And hopefully every time we go through that, it makes it like, a little bit more reliable. A Monday will end up like that. We hope. <laughs> uh, so two more shows to go. Can you do it? hope so. I don't know. You tell me. Well, I wish that. I wish that well, we do have that predict a robot on the TV screen, he knows, but unfortunately yeah. I'm no fortune teller. No, I mean, I'm not either, so you know. Just go in, try to smash some robots, chuck them out the arena, see how it goes. Well, Mike, we look forward to more eruption in Maidstone. Thank you very Thank much. You.